11 News 530. Everything's on sale everywhere and it's awesome. Malls and stores are jammed for the start of the holiday shopping season. The day after Thanksgiving is one of the busiest shopping days of the year, and this year was no exception. Bargain hunters got up well before the crack of dawn to find the best deals. And because the economy is picking up steam, retailers are counting on a good shopping season. Nina Martinez has been out with the shoppers all day long. Nina, pretty busy, huh? That's right, Betty, it is. It's definitely crowded. And a lot of people got up this morning while it was still dark outside and nine degrees to go shopping. They didn't want to miss out on the early bird specials. The signs of the season are everywhere. Santa's posing for pictures at Chapel Hills Mall. The Christmas tree stretches to the ceiling and shoppers are on the move. I got up at six and got my kids up and we all got in the car, one's still in pajamas. Bargains. I love bargains. So I'm here doing Christmas shopping and trying to get good bargains. No one can miss the sales. They're going on in just about every store to lure the shoppers in. Who are you shopping for? Uh, my two sons. Yeah. For the kids and grandparents and everybody. Finding the perfect gift can be a challenge. I'm not sure anyone needs one of these hover discs. But you can find one at the mall if you want one. Kids might like these stunt vehicles. John Stokes got one for his five-year-old grandson. I bought it because I like it, and so I think he's surely as smart as I am, so he'll like it too. Many shoppers look productive. Hands are full, shopping bags nearly touch the floor, and no one's complaining. It's fun. I, I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have been having fun, and we have more bags than we can even carry, so... <laughs> And for those of you who did not want to brave the crowds today, you still have 26 shopping days left before Christmas. And if you're anything like me, you'll have to make a mad dash to the mall on Christmas Eve. Betty? All right. Thanks, Nina. Well, Colorado.